Hi, welcome to the One Litre Podcast. You will watch us drinking one liters of beer whilst talking about shies. Please like and subscribe. Welcome to the Von Litre. Speimer. Welcome back. Don't Prost. Go. Prost. Cheers. Welcome back to the Van Liter Podcast, everybody. Welcome back. Hope you liked our last episode with the the movie theme. We do plan on doing that again. We got some I got some decent good feedback from that. Decent good. Get that into you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more better. How is We're your... gonna do more better. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day? Bad, terrible. <laughs> All right, so Phil. I'm just gonna do more better though. Let's Wait. Just, let's oh. Let me open. Let me open with Phil's fun fact. Okay, Phil's fun fact. We need a little jingle. Yeah. We just use a Seinfeld theme. Fun fact. Spigot a bam bam, spigot a bam bam bam, spigot a bam bam. Spigot a spigot I've got a few here, but I'm just going to roll with the one. Joel, do you know what a. Wait, do you know what a group. Oh, what if you know this? Do you know what a group of flamingos is called? I can assure you I don't know this. Um, can I get a hint? Can I, can I call a friend? Um, think of think of Mardi Gras. Oh, a carnival. No. What? It's called a flamboyance. Wow. No joke. That's probably where they get it <laughs> from. Google. It's called a flamboyance, as in like C-E. Wow. What? That's probably where they get flamboyant from, right? That's stupid, right? Who makes this shit up? Like, who says, okay, dolphins, it's pod. Birds, it's flock. Yeah. Cows, what is a cow herd? Crow's pretty cool, though. Crow's is a murder. That's gangster. <laughs> what is that? What are they going to fucking come at you with, like, pitchforks and bottles and chains? Like, <laughs> Don't fuck with crows, man. <laughs> I don't fucking... Especially no, not a group of them. No, no way. But, I mean, all right, off the top of your head, Guns pointed at your head, Philip. I should get that Nerf gun and point it at you and be like, "We yeah. should do that. We should have like Take a, an eye out. We should have like a fucking like a stand up, uh, like, like a, a Russian roulette around you. It's just like off the top of your head, and like if we deem it good, so I'll be like, "What would you? What would your adaptation of a group of flamingos be? Ten, nine, eight. Yes. And if you if you blurt out something like, "Oh, um, uh, apostate, I'm like, acceptable. <laughs> if not, yeah, yeah. We should do that. We should make that a thing. Done. You know what? That next, is next step. I'm writing it down. Do it, dude. That is a that is fascinating. I'm not even mad. That's cool. Nerf gun. What was it? Straight off the top of your head. Russian roulette. Yeah. Off the top. A flamboyance, eh? That's fascinating. I've just learned something very, very interesting. Thank you for sharing. Jumping straight in. Yeah. Rolling, because look, I think we both capitulated on the, in the fact that that's a big word, Joel. <clears throat> capitulated. You know this word, right? What does it mean? If uh, if I was pressuring you into do something and you eventually acquiesced, you were like you you, you were like you caved, you capitulated, mm, right? Like wow. the walls of the palace capitulated. So <laughs> wow, whipping out the academics on the Van Leter podcast. I love to use big words. Um, so tell me that at the end of the drink. All right, yeah, capitulated. <laughs> we've earlier we've capitulated. <laughs> <laughs> you and I. From the get-go doing this podcast, I've always spoke about films at great length to yeah. the point where we were like, dude, we're getting off track. We need to come back to... And um, look, we, we're not trying to be like one of these other podcasts who just talk about films because that's boring. So, but we do want to give our spin to old old film. Uh, you know, it's... it's no, Not necessarily even old films, but like films that would be <laughs> well known to our generation. I hmm. feel like that that would... That's nicer because we enjoyed them when we were watching them or when we are watching them, re-watching them. It's maybe not a review so much, but just nostalgia, really. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so what we want to do is we want to pick three films right here, right now, and obviously nobody's ever going to fucking give a shit. But <laughs> Nobody's going to do it, but we're going to give the vote to the listeners because you can not only can you create questions with answers like we have – Gotten so many answers back, by the way. <coughs> Not to brag. What was that one comment we got? <laughs> but fucking heap sick, eh? <laughs> fucking heap sick. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we can now create polls. So we're going to pick three movies and make a poll, and you guys can vote 
which one you want us to do for the next podcast. It'll be like the Flubber one, mm-hmm. but we'll. One of the feedback was we should probably watch it right before we do the podcast because it was like two months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we hey, did because- watch it. We both sat down in the same room, watched yeah. it, took notes, and then. Two months later, we did it again. I think. <laughs> the two months later, we just off the cuff. We're like, let's just record about it and talk about the movie. Dude, in the last podcast, though, we tore that movie to shreds. We tore. I know. Yeah. At one stage, you're like, the writing is so stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> Who are? Oh, let's tie a fucking sandbag to one. My- All right, moving on. That's I've- just lazy writing. Yeah. So, mm. Mm. there's a million great films out there. And this list that I've compiled, we don't have to use a single film from this list, but Mm. I just, this is just off the top of my head. I was thinking, I was very in the mindset of like 90s comedy and stuff. Well, you know my one. More my ones. Back to the Future trilogy. I want to do Back to the Future. I would be more than happy to do that, yeah. Hell yeah. So let's make one of them, one of the votes, Back to the Future one. Should we just do one or just should we just talk about the whole trilogy? Mm, yeah, I think the trilogy trilogy would be good because then we can review them all and yeah. compare them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've that got, means you got to watch three films. Though. I've just recently watched them. That's a, that's nothing to me. That's a nice. fucking walk in a park. Nice walk in the park. And if it's a dude, like if I watch if I watch Lord of the Rings is one of them. But if I also Star Wars not so much. But if I watch any parts of the Caribbean film, I got to watch all of them. Wow, mainly the first three. All right, so we've got Flubber on the list, which is ticked off. The Mummy films. Right, only, never, never watched. Only one and two. We forget the third one. The 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 scorpion. No, not the scorpion. It's like the Jade King or whatever. With they they no had idea. to Hollywood had to take it into fucking China with martial arts it's bullshit. Uh, but the ones in Egypt, the first two, fucking mint, dude. Uh, you haven't seen them, dude. You were in for a treat. It. They are, they are like <clears throat> peak, uh, the peak of like that age. And like Brendan Fraser was like the god. Do you, you know, know what else I haven't seen, which you already know and you hate me for? Lord of the Rings. Um, None of. I don't remember that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've told you this. That's nuts, dude. I'd, you'd watch Lord of the Rings. I'd come in here and you'd be like dressed like Frodo. You'd be like, I'm, I'm in, man. I'm See, in I, I never, I, I got into the Harry Potter world and then I never branched out. I read the Harry Potter books through high school. I was the opposite, man. And then I just never branched out to anything else. People were like, yeah, Lord of the Rings. And I was like, nah. The Dumbledore's f- enough for wizardry for me. <laughs> the fun thing, the Lord of the Rings is wizards actually get into the fight. They punch on. Yeah. Dumbledore's like, no, I'm wearing I've a three-piece. I've seen plenty of Lord of the Rings footage, clips, Does it obviously. You? Not really. So, Fair enough. And look. And it is cheesy. I've watched it again recently and be like, this is pretty cheese. Yeah, but I don't, I don't care about that. I feel like me, I'm just not, <laughs> I'm not so much of a fantasy world Person. But you like Harry fucking Scrotter. Well, that's the only one. And I it's guess probably because in I was between... indoctrinated in it when I was younger and I was like, oh, I can get into this. Boom, read Dude, the books. What used to be cool is that Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter were coming out at the same time. For three years, Lord of the Rings kept coming out when the Harry Potter films. So, like, every Christmas, you'd go and watch Lord of the Rings and then, like, a couple of weeks later, you'd watch Harry Potter. Boom. But I was the opposite. I was like, I read The Hobbit when I was real young. It was, like, the first nice. book I ever read. And then... I'd watch the Lord of the Rings films and then Harry Potter was like something fun to do when I wasn't thinking about Lord of the Rings or anything else, you know? Yeah. I never got into Harry Potter like other people did. So and- you would know like the Lord of the Rings but- world. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I would have no clue. Can I tell you something funny though? Is like I remember I saw the last Harry Potter films at the Yatler Drive-Ins oh, with yeah, my yeah, brother. Yeah. My brother's like, hey, bro. Drive-in movies, bro. Go see this. I think we were grilled too. Whatever year it was, 2011 or 12 or something like that. And I remember seeing it and then when it was over, I had like an existential crisis, dude. Because, again, I wasn't the biggest fan of Harry Potter, but every year you knew a Harry Potter film yeah. was coming out. And at the end of it, I was just like my my heart – I had like a physical feeling of like my heart dropping. I was like, oh, fuck, that's like an end of an era. You're like, oh, my God, Harry they've Potter's, defeated him. Yeah. Like He's Harry dead. Potter's gone. Like yeah. there there's go, there's goes a piece of my youth, you know? Yeah. And I don't like how she really, really completed it. Like she did that flash forward to – when they're older and he's married to Ginny and how the fuck did Hermione shack up with that fat ginge? She was looking banging by the end of it, bro, and he was like fat. <laughs> but was pasty. she meant to be looking banging uh, in, in the, the books? books? Nah, nah. I've she just seen happened it. to be Emma Watson, and Emma Watson was like, "Oh, I'm gonna bloom." Yeah, and everyone's like, "Yeah." When's the next one coming out? <laughs> 
mummy films. We've got Lord of the Rings as well, but let's not do Lord of the Rings. Let's save that that's for so a, long. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like eight hours. No, is it nine yeah. hours? Yeah. Napoleon Dynamite. Oh yes, I would do that. White that, Man. That was like a. That was almost like a folk film, right? That was like a cult film yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was. It was real cheesy when it came out, and everyone was like, "Oh, what the? Yeah, yeah. Let's watch it again. Let's watch your best ones though." Now, this is a very niche one. I don't know why this one came to mind. I was thinking 90s, diversity, white man can't jump. Don't even know. Wesley Snipes and, um, oh, uh, oh, my God, my brain's not working. Um, uh, 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 Eddie, I have oh. no idea. Yeah, I can't help you here. <laughs> uh, but I, can't, I don't even know that film. Woody Harrelson. We, Woody Harrelson. Uh, um, they're basically like two dudes in like, California and they they're really good at basketball and they go around to local courts and they pretend to not know each other and they pretend to Wesley Snipes he's known by everyone he's like a street dude and he's like all right I bet you I'll pick any motherfucker or like you pick any motherfucker who's on who's not playing today who's sitting on the sidelines he'll be my partner and we'll still win and they all and like because Woody Harrelson's the only white dude in the hood at the time the guy was like, pick the white boy, he's going to lose. And But he, they know each other, so, like, they just wipe people's asses. Oh, nice. They wipe people's asses. What an expression. <laughs> there you go. It's a fun I don't film. know if that's an expression, Yeah. You know? um, <laughs> we're, think, just, we're just going to wipe people's asses on the court. They, they whoop their asses. Whoop. Oh. Whoop, yeah. Is it a court? Basketball court. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is a court. Um, George of the Jungle. Mm. I don't. I can't believe you've you like Brendan Fraser. You've you've seen George of the Jungle, but you haven't seen the Mummy films. That's no. nuts, dude. They were like so close together. Look, George of the Jungle, the Mummy films. I'm I'm keen. They, they get my votes because they're like very well known, right? Yeah, Ursula. I don't know. Like I I remember watching George of the Jungle and thought it was like oh this is fun, but it never never like fucked me up, you know. What was the one where he's where is the caveman? Encino Man. Yes. I don't have that on here, but I'm happy to do Encino Man too. I'd be happy to do that. But I haven't seen problem. that in years. I've watched Encino Man like fifty thousand times. I used to 50, have it on fifty thousand times. I have it on DVD and I used to have it on VHS. <sighs> Joel, let's just pause there for a second. I want to just work this out. Are you? Encino Man. Can you just quickly Google Encino Man for me? Wheezing the juice. No, wheezing the juice. Man. <clears throat> What is the Encino Man running time? One hour, One hour 20 28 minutes. Mm-hmm. That's um, 1982. 80, 88 minutes. It's the year I was born, Playboy. 88 minutes times 50,000. 90s Paulie Shaw. You can't so you, beat it. you've watched that for 4,400,000 minutes if you've watched it 50,000 times. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. Divided by 60. That's hours. Okay. Divided by 24 hours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <You're> 65. <laughs> you've watched. <laughs> you've, <laughs> you've watched Encino Man straight with no break back to back without doing anything else, not even a toilet break. You were peeing in bottles for 8.5 years. 8.58 years if you wanted to watch it 50,000 right. times. Sounds right. You did that? I'm yeah. 30 years old, bro. Yeah, I've done that. True. <laughs> I, I was wondering where you went from like yeah. age 19 to 27. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Dude. <laughs> Annie. You're like, you're like, yeah, no, I moved to the NT. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I was just pissing in bottles. <laughs> Once you get Cedo, yeah. man. <laughs> All right. Me, myself, and Irene. I love that film. I love that film. I haven't seen that in a long time, but I yes, love that film. Oh, there's so many good options. Hey, ladies, my name's Charlie Bailey Gates. Want to see my weasel? <laughs> uh, Zoolander. Now, Vagiclean, I'll do. Uh, Vagiclean on aisle five. <laughs> Little extra cheese and taco, huh? Again, any Adams, any um, Jim Carrey film before 2000s? Hell yeah. Or maybe like before 2005. Um, so with Zoolander, Zoolander's become a bit of like with the memes. Ding, Mm. But here's the thing. I love Zoolander and I'm glad because of the memes have come out because I'm like, you know what? It's showing me all these funny scenes from Zoolander that I miss watching. That yeah. I, was, I still quote Zoolander today. I've literally watched it once and it oh, was bro, years ago. So good. i got to watch it again. Yeah. It wasn't, it didn't tickle me as much as others. What do you think of like Ace Ventura? Because that was me when I was younger. We've had this discussion. I know. That wasn't you. G- Jim, no. Or was 
Jim Carrey raised me, dude. Yeah, exactly. I've told you this. Jim Carrey, Adam Sandler, and Chris Farley. Yeah, but I wasn't. I couldn't remember whether it was dude, the I, Ace Ventura roles because for me it was them specifically. No, dude, I quote Ace Ventura all the time. Skid up. Oh no, that's a uh, cable guy. But dude, <laughs> dude, like, yeah, it's, it's Ace Ventura. Here, man. Here's something. Here's something like Encino Man. I've probably seen about eight times. Mm-hmm. Ace Ventura. I shit you not. Let's let's be realistic. Realistically, I've probably seen Ace Ventura, <sighs> Pet Detective, the one in Miami, forty five times. Forty five. Wow. Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, forty six. And more. More. Yeah. I here's the thing. I saw When Nature Calls before the other one. I used to think When Nature Calls was the first film. Yes, I, I saw it first. Same. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Um, the other one was actually. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Bit, yeah. Do you have a daughter, Finn? Mm. We should do them and we should watch them together. Psycho. And we'll we'll record us watching them because I reckon we could recite that line for line. Think on line on, baby. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Gum staring into my hip. Every time I chew gum. <laughs> And I've got multiple gum. It's always like, oh, yeah. Your gun is digging into my hip. So, yeah, look, I, I'm, I'm almost, if anyone ever, like, came up to me and said, oh, bro, you probably haven't seen this movie, but Ace Ventura is all funny, I would be insulted. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, those, like, it takes a lot to, like, you know, but those are fighting words for me because, like, I've, I've, I was raised by those films, nice. Adam Sandler, like, Jim Carrey films. Um, Max Keeble. <laughs> That I want to watch that shit. I want to watch it. It's probably a terrible one to talk about, but it would be hilarious. I think Max Keeble. No, no, no. I think it'd be funny as because like it's like why is this bully afraid of a giant frog costume and like <laughs> crazy shit, dude? I think we'd have a great laugh about it. Do you know what is weird about Max Keeble? Like I've watched Max Keeble several several times. Max Keeble. Yep. But I feel like it's one of those films where you know it's not good. It's cheesy. It's super cheesy. You know it's like, ugh, but everyone's seen it. Yeah. Has everyone seen it, though? I don't think so. I think we should avoid Max Keeble because it's too easy to make fun of. Yeah, exactly. Um, here, I, 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 no, I'm, I'm going to get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, Major keep, Pain. Keep them on there, but we want to just narrow down the first three to choose from. I got Major Pain on there as well, but nah, I don't think everyone's nah. seen that. One f- uh, blue streak. You probably haven't seen the one either, so I'll get rid of blue streak. No. All right, here's a one. Here's one that I fuck with that I think we'd be able to pick a lot of holes in it, but okay. still be a gangster film. The Phantom. I've never seen it. Billy Zane, bro. Should we should we put that on there? Yeah, for sure. I'm happy to put that on there just because I haven't seen it. So should we make it Back to the Future? The Phantom. <laughs> there it is. So the three options: Back to the Future. The fan, <laughs> you're just blocking me with the fan. Try- I can flash it up, Joel, if you yeah, want. Yeah, I'm trying to get the. I'm trying to get the fucking. I can. I can edit that shit in. Um, hang on. Before you say that, with the Phantom, do you remember reading like you read like your parents' newspaper or flick through it sometimes a comic book section, and there'd be the Phantom. The Phantom's been around since like the 20s or something, dude. It's like an old fucking comic, and um, basically the dude. Let me like the Phantom. Hang that on. blows my mind. The old comics because I never got into comics, and then Neither when I did see I. all like when I see all like the superhero movies, I'm like, oh, this is a cool idea. And like, no, no, it's a really old comic. The Phantom. When I learned that when I was younger, I was like, what? These yeah. are all old comics. Yeah. Who are we? Yeah. All we do is Dude, watch superhero movies. The original fucking the original comic books, like vo- like volume one of like Superman or Spider-Man, they'd go for like tr- millions of dollars. Eh? Really? Like if you issue like a one. Collection. Yeah. yeah. Right. But the Phantom, let me just give a quick bio of the Phantom dude. Cause it's sick. Well, should we put it on the list and then we do an actual bio? Okay. We, we could. Yeah. They call him the ghost who walks, bro. Phantom's dope. All right. We've also got sky high. This is the last one on my list. Did you ever watch sky no, high? I know it. Sky high is fucking awesome, man. It's probably like 2003 or something. Right. It's like this dude. It's like superheroes exist. And superheroes' children go to school, and it's called it's called Sky High because it's a high school in the middle of the sky, right? Oh, it's wow. like a floating okay. thing, and the kids take a flying bus to the thing. The main character, dude, his parents are like two of the most famous superheroes in America. His dad's like Captain Strong or something. He's like super powerful, and his mum's like this chick who flies. And the dude, he's like, it's like his first year of high school, and like he's. He's like a lot of pressure because like he's like the, the the son of this like 
couple this mm. like america's favorite couple who are like superheroes it's like real like it's not like it's not like the boys grimy or anything it's right. like it's like a disney film that's what i thought of straight away nah, the boys no nah, it's, like, it's disney and the kids powers haven't bloomed yet but and he's scared so he's like his dad comes in and he's got like a fucking he's got like 80,000 kilos on his weights not 80,000 why do i exaggerate so much he's got like 80 kilos and he's like he's like anything anyone has times a thousand yeah, yeah. his dad comes in and he's like Racks at that. He's like, oh, he's, he's like, oh, son, you've been lifting that. He's like, yeah. He's like, maybe you'll get my super strength. Ha-ha. And so he goes to the high school, right? First day, there's all these other kids. Some of them have like really good powers, shape shifting and shit, mm. shoot fire, whatever. Some kids don't. And um, we got to talk about some superpowers yeah, man, after yeah, this. Yeah, yeah please. This kid's got all this pressure on him, and everyone's like, oh my God, that's Baba Bar's kid. He, I wonder what powers he has. And on the first day, there's a, there's a guy, his name's Coach Boomer. He's like the fucking like the sports teacher and he's like of course he is uh to put he's like there's two classes you work in like it's like normal class but you get two categories sidekick and and oh, and no. hero and so oh, like no. he puts them in these like under duress and they have to like do their powers and he'll be like you a pathetic sidekick great work hero and like this kid the main character he flunks because he doesn't, his powers haven't bloomed yet. So he gets put with the nerds and the nerds are like, don't worry about it, man. We're going to- As in the sidekicks. Yeah, yeah. He gets put with the sidekicks. He's useless. And then- um, Have I seen this? It sounds really familiar. The rest of the film and then from the rest of the film, he like, it's like a high school film. Does he get the girl? Does he get his powers? I won't won't give it away, but sick film. Dude, every person I've ever met who's seen Sky High, I fucking love it, dude. If they made a second Sky High, that shit would have been- now, what do you want me to put on? Three options. Sky high. Should we make four options? Let's go sky high. Sky high. Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. Um, the the Back to the Future films. Maybe look, later. Yeah, yeah maybe. Once, once we've got a groove so we can fit three movies in one. Let's just get three happy jolly ones. Ace Ventura. One of them. No, look, we can't do Ace Ventura because you and I know it too well. We, uh, it's I don't want. It's an exercise. It's an exercise to to break. <laughs> you and I have seen it so much. We can break down the films right now. We don't even need it's to true. watch them. It's true. Um, Napoleon Dynamite, Sky High, or Me Myself oh, and Irene, George of the it, Jungle, Encino of, Man, George of the Jungle. Ah, oh, Encino Man. I've seen it too many. Dude, Encino Man. Fifty thousand times. I know. Yeah. yeah. Eighty. Okay, 000, George of the Jungle. Done. They're the three options, guys. Okay. George of the Jungle, Napoleon Dynamite, and Sky High. Um, Choose which one would you like to see next time on the one... I was going to say next week. No promises. Next time on the One Leader Podcast. That's my broadcast voice that we spoke about one time. Podcast. <laughs> the One Leader Podcast. All right, let's... If let's, you need me to do some voiceovers, uh, look me up on Upwork or... <laughs> mm. So... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> let's... um Fruity. I want to go let's, back to superpowers, bro. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't discussed this on The One Leader. Superpowers, man. All right, let's do it. When people say, what superpower would you have? I feel like it always depends on my mood. What I what I choose? Do you have one particular one that you gravitate to? Um, I guess it would be either it'd be two, right? One would be immortality, right. naturally, and the second would be flying. Flying, yeah. I've always gravitated to flying, but more recently, I thought flying. Sure, actually, flying, but you need some conditions, right? I need to be able to fly super, super quick because my other one is like teleportation like imagine just being able to go teleportation like sick but there's too many there's too many like what happens if you, you you're about to teleport so here's the thing that i, I think about this like quite a, a lot as well <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so when you teleport do you have to have been there before or can you look at a postcard of a place and teleport there this like jumper gonna, does like in, jumper in yeah the movie yeah and like what happens if you you're about to teleport like they're like okay it's your first time teleporting if you want to go to a place, you have to focus really hard on like a whole oh, look at this picture and focus on it. And you're like, okay. And you focus on it and then you teleport and then you don't realize right where you're looking at, a car's just parked there or they've built a building and you teleport into concrete and suffocate. True. I don't fuck Never with that. Never thought of that. Never thought One of that. One thing I always thought about is like having the ability You just to- look at a picture of the moon, suddenly boom, out in space, dead. Yeah. That's one that I was thinking of was like the ability to breathe in any environment. So that would be sick. Underwater, in space- uh, in fire, 
in like in gas in like poisonous toxic Somewhere with gas no clouds. No oxygen, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine <clears throat> can you imagine having the ability to be immortal, to fly, be indestructible, and breathe in space? Would you just fly through space? <laughs> you'd have to be able to fly very quickly though. Because otherwise yeah, you wouldn't get anywhere. Yeah, you'd just yeah. be like It'd be like riding a bicycle from fucking Perth to uh, Brisbane, bro. It'd be like, take you 20 years. <laughs> yeah, and nothing there. Just desert. Just space. Cold no. space. But so, like, obviously, when it comes to flying, you don't want wings. You just want to fly normally yeah, yeah. like Superman. You want to be able to d- defy gravity. <laughs> yeah. Clearly. Um, what other cool superpowers even are there? Like, that's, the, that's like the basic ones everyone gravitates to. Duplicating yourself. Like, I know you never watched Naruto, but he had this thing called Shadow Clone. Shadow clone, mm. shadow clone technique. You do this, and what he did was he he cloned himself, and they all had like a mind of their own. They were all him, but what he did was, if one of them were killed, it go. But the thing is, those clones could run around, gather knowledge, and then when they, that knowledge reverts to him. Oh. So that's what it, he had to learn this like new fighting style. But he couldn't. It would have taken months and months and months and years to learn this like technique. So he cloned himself. And learn different parts of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, the, but the downside was is like if you really exert yourself with all these clones, by the end of the day, you're like knackered. Right. So if I, if I you cloned- You have a good sleep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like draining, yeah. So <laughs> clones is cool. Obviously, naturally, like shooting fire and fucking water, like- <sighs> Fire in the flames. Yeah, yeah. So any, any kind of projectiles gangster. Could you imagine if you had like a really cool superpower- but you had to do something like super stupid to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if you you're like I can fly like Superman, defy gravity, fly. But you, but you have to be bare ass. Like you have to wear buttless chaps. Or you, no, not even that. But you you had to like put one arm behind your back like this and then hold your knee like this. <laughs> you just <laughs> yeah <laughs> through the sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like hiccuping. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine if like whenever you fly, for some reason there's like a it's like a like a deep, deep heat that comes out of your ass that isn't toxic to you, but every time you wear pants, it just burns the ass out. So you you always gotta like exactly. pull your pants around your ankles and then fly. <laughs> Look at his cock! You know? <laughs> we should you should make you can make a movie about this where it's like superpowers, but they all have a caveat. Yeah. They all have this dude. We really- should write some down and and bring it up. Absolutely. <laughs> that, that, that one though. That one though. You gotta fly. Yeah. No. How does, he, does how does he land? Dude, he just like <laughs> smashes everything. So the, yeah, you'd have to like you're holding your knee and you. And then as you come close to the ground, then you extend your knee and then you drop to gravity, you know? That's yeah. how it works. Dude, one of the original um, <coughs> Morrowind, Morrowind was the game and you have like, uh, sorry, not Morrowind, Elder Scrolls, you had like Morrowind, Oblivion, and then Skyrim. I played Morrowind back on like Xbox One, dude. It was a fucking sick game. But there was a thing called the Boots of Blinding Speed. That was like, a, like an artifact you found. You put the boots on and the screen goes black, but you... And you can run really fast, and all you can see is your little map. So all you can see yeah. is your little cursor, and it's like running. But it was fucked because it went all black, so you couldn't see where you're running. And like it, it, you look at the cursor, and you're stuck, and then you look up, and you're like running in front of a mountain. You can't get past it. So wouldn't that be funny? Is like somebody's like super speed, but they're blind. <laughs> yes. So every time you start running in super speed, yeah. your eyes shut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they've got. No. <laughs> and they've got. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to make sure you got a straight yeah. line. And do you know the the blind people sticks? Yeah. <laughs> Every time he wakes up, it's like burnt to a crisp. He's like, ow, oh, fuck. You, know? you, you end up like in the boys. You end up running through people and shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, fuck, man. This Again. is a new show. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's okay. It's a blind, super speed blind. What about if it's like super speed, but you could only run backwards? Yeah. Like, ah, yeah that's better. Ah, ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw I'll throw powers at you and you're gonna mu- you're gonna <coughs> fucking alter them, all right? All right. Um like uh s- sonic yelling. Ah, like really t- loud? Yeah. But <laughs> you have to like rub your nipples while you do it. Ah! You have to like <laughs> grab your genitals. Say, I was gonna say like you could yell extremely loud, but it just comes out in like a really stupid accent. <laughs> So, 
It's like you can't say words properly. Or maybe. Oh, dude, I've got it. I've got it. Just hold that breath. You can use supersonic words, but they're like racist slurs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Holy fuck. That would be fucked. That, that would be, be fucked. fucked. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. if you couldn't? What if you had a supersonic voice, but you couldn't use it with words? True. It was all just gibberish yeah, sounds. Yeah, yeah. Another yeah. one. Give me another one. What? Uh, what about if like um? What even are powers? I don't know. It's hot. In what here, about? Man. I'm I'm burning up. Mm-hmm. I'm schwitzing. What about one where um, like uh, you can read people's minds, but every time you do it, a swastika appears on your forehead. <laughs> it's like no, cover it up. It like burns through the fabric. I'm just That's so that. like fabricated. Like the the gods of superpowers just knew they were like, you know what? We'll fuck you up. We'll refer you back to Hitler. Yeah, yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, but what that's I- that's that's interesting. Like, how could you even? How could you even have something weird about mind reading? Well, I mean, you could do something like you know how it's like. Um, you can read people's minds, but only if you're touching them or something. Yeah, <laughs> so something dumb where it's like you, have to, you can no, read you have to people's touch their mind. big toe. That's all these You can read people's. Off. You can read people's minds, but only if you're sitting on their shoulders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hold them down, hold them down. I got him. Where are the diamonds? Yeah, yeah. What? Froggy jumping people from yeah. behind. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> read it. Imagine like super, like super aquatic swimming or something. But like, like you, you have you, your foreskin grows extra large or something, so like you're swimming super fast. But like it's like, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something weird. Um, you are you you go you go straight for the weird. I got I got I got to go for the last swimming right? and genitalia. Mm-hmm. Swimming. I've got this comedian I found. He's an Australian. Um, Carl Barron. I found this. I've heard of him. Yeah, I've heard of him. I found this Aussie comedian. Uh, his name is Damien Power. Um, I think he's from Melbourne. Mm. Maybe he's from Sydney. I don't know, but he's he's classic, dude. He's hilarious. And I found this funny skit. Um, chuck it on. Chuck it on, I shall. Nike has all these ads now that are really woke. <coughs> and just had one that was like an African, pregnant African woman and it had like the toughest athlete on the planet. But Nike just got caught using slave labor. Yeah, it's like, fuck you, Nike. Don't hide your slavery behind pretending to be diverse and progressive. You know what I mean? I wish they did good, but had fucked ads. Like it was the other way around. Like they actually paid their tax. Yeah. They paid their tax, had a good environmental record and all that, but their ads were fucked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just mean. Like Michael Jordan comes out and he's like, you'll never be me. <laughs> <laughs> Nike, don't dream. <laughs> One ad's just like, fuck, fuck <laughs> off, fuck you. <laughs> Nike, fuck you. <laughs> One ad's just an asshole opening and closing. <laughs> That's what I thought about with the Like, there's no house. branding, there's not even a swoosh on the asshole. It's like, who pays for the asshole? That's weird, it just appears on TV for some reason. <laughs> some ads are just sinister. It's like a dude with a gun, and he's like, we know where you live. <laughs> Nike, run. <laughs> um, dude. Manny! Man, what a um, guy. You've seen uh, Fortnite Battle Pass. You saw that video I posted on Instagram. A Fortnite, Fortnite Battle. Battle Pass. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just shit out my ass, dude. <laughs> that's, that's gold. I wanted to – I haven't written anything down, but one thing I wanted to go over was like uh, um, funny like made-up characters for movies and shit that don't exist. So Like, like make it come up with a character? Yeah, and like you can build a whole movie around him, you know. Like, um, you want to pitch something to me? Yeah, and you have to like pitch a movie, and I'm the studio that's gonna sign it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think I'm gonna sign this, Joel? Yeah, exactly. We should probably run this with the Russian roulette thing as well. But off the top of my head, off the top of your head, off the top of my head, I'll try to um, I'll try to pitch something now, and then you tell me if it if it would sell. All right, so, uh. There is a 
man who works. Bang! No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I don't know how the game works. Yeah. We haven't made rules. So there's a woman who um <laughs> who uh woke up one day and um like parts of her body are slowly turning into like a clown. It's so, like one day she's got like a red nose and then the next day she's got like red curly hair. Mm. And then like Tim um, Allen, Santa Claus. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Basically she ends up becoming a clown. And you find out that um, the government wants people, the government realises that people um, people are living longer because they're laughing more. So, um, no, I got it. So she's a cop, right? Right. She's a homicide detective and she's finding a lot of dead clowns around. Dead clowns. So she's not turning into a clown. No, it's no, now no. dead clowns. Dead clowns. I think we got to prepare for this this <laughs> oh, yeah, segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's finding all these dead clowns, and she's. If I'm like, a studio, I'm sending you out right now. That that was you've just changed your right, character. What l- the fuck? Let's man? imagine I've just you changed walked, your pitch midway. Let's imagine I've, I've just walked into the room. Hi, how are you going? Yeah, good. How are you going? Mate? Good, thanks. So there's a woman, right? She's a cop. She's a homicide detective wow. in in New, in New York. There's a string. I mean, I'm talking string. I'm talking strizzing. Of dead clowns and like comedians. What do they call the killer? Um, so at first they believe that it's one person, but after what do they like, call him? Um, the uh, is it just the clown killer, or is there something the Cracker Jack? Um, the Cracker Jack massacre was the first massive killing. Wow! Yeah. And then uh, basically, um, they they call the killer the bane of um, the bane of Krusty. I don't know. Bane of Krusty. Yeah, yeah, like a bozo's bozo's last tour or something. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, I haven't, I haven't hashed those out. Yeah, studio yeah, exec. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. But anyways, I'll get my marketing team to have a look at it. She, Bean, crusty. Yeah. she slowly starts to uncover some shit, like deep shit. It leads up all the way to the White House and Illuminati, and they found they find out that people are killing anything that makes people happy, and everyone becomes very cynical and depressed because the less we laugh. The more uh, we're likely to die of a young, you know, and so that's why you see these rich biz. And there's a scene where she's walking along and she looks at this like rich Wall Street CEO and these people walking to a limo and they're just like laughing their asses off. And she's like, "Man, I haven't laughed like that in so long." And she takes like pills. People take start taking pills to make themselves laugh more. And she, happy pills. She wakes up in the middle of the night and has dreams that used to make like of thoughts that used to make her laugh and she quickly writes them down and then like in the morning she's in the shower and she like ties a belt around her neck to asphyxiate herself so she gets really lightheaded and then she just like reads these things and she's like (laughs) like freaking out trying to laugh and she can't do it and then like she has conversations with her partner and shit she's like hey like her partner like a police partner and and she's like hey Ernie he's like hey uh Ernie, strong police partner name. Yeah. yeah. Had a laugh any had a laugh lately. Uh, I had a bit of a laugh this morning. It reminded me of a story where I slipped over on ice. What about you, Ernie? Nah. Nah. I thought about laughing the other day, but uh then I remembered uh my wife my 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 wife left with the pool guy, so uh I got nothing to laugh the about. Pool guy. Yeah, and everything's wow. so eventually she she finds out that these people are trying to stop people from being happy in life and she, like, uncovers the whole thing. So they're killing clowns. Yeah. When did, uh, just a side note there, clowns uh, equaling laughing and happiness, that doesn't happen anymore. When when did clowns stop being a symbol of funny and yeah, start know, being a symbol of horror? Yeah. Just horror movies. People have always Death. been people have always been afraid of clowns, man. I never got that. Eh? I, I think thought, that I was that thought, the natural progression. Was it like clowns were made to be funny, and then people were afraid of them because they're like, "Whoa, that's creepy." And then it progressed into like, "I find it creepy." What if we made it into a creepy movie? Yeah, I don't know. Is that how it progressed? I think it might have progressed like when people like criminals wear masks you can't see them they commit their crimes what's the comparison <laughs> between someone wearing face paint you don't know what they actually look mm-hmm. like and like anyone can hide behind in no plain idea. sight I was in plain clowns- sight because you can still see all their face except for the nose yeah and it just hides your identity i always thought clowns were hilarious dude did you yeah when i see a clown <laughs> and they're like trying to be funny and they're doing rolls and shit and then you always see a clown afterwards and they're like having a smoke and they hate their life that shit's so funny <laughs> okay wait wait 
But an actual clown's act, like in a circus, that that's shit's, actually funny. That shit's fucking funny. Because they're like dude. dopey and they're tripping over their giant <laughs> shoes and stuff. <laughs> and then they, yeah, they're doing like mini miniature. <laughs> yeah, miniature. <laughs> yeah. They're doing like miniature magic tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, then like someone kicks them out of the ass and they're like, how crazy is this circus? Yeah. Like circuses. Circuses? Is that the word? Circai. <laughs> so, flamboyance Flam- no, it's, 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 circuses I don't know that's what I'd call the movie flamboyance the, the plural of circus is still around like that shit's traveling and they are extremely skilled people that do crazy 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 acrobatics acrobatic yeah. athletic shit dude people but like it's like a is it still like a a f- full on Gypsy life? Uh, not gypsy's it, uh, yeah, not the yeah, right yeah, word. Yeah. No, but- no, it is, dude. It's, it is a gypsy lifestyle. They're all fucking cheapskate grifter site. Dude, Michael Bevington. But don't you pay good Michael money? Michael Bevington work, was- in- We knew a guy. Yeah. We knew a guy. He was in the he's circus in, for a while, He's in circus bro. now, yeah. Yeah, and the dude, like, I love Michael. He's a good bloke, but he's, like, rough rough as guts, man. Like, he's, like, Jeez. he's lived through some shit. Like, yeah. he knows, like, if you're, it's not legit payment. Like, like if you're, like, a young vagrant dude and you go to, like, if, like, you ran away from your home and you come across a fucking circus in town, you're like, hey, mate, look, I'm, I'm 18 years old. I got nowhere to go. I'll work for you. You're traveling. Let me join. They're like, no worries. Boom, 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 boom. Do you know and it's all paid by cash, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, do you if- know what's like the first insight into the inner workings of a circus when you're a child or when we were children is Dumbo, the movie Dumbo. Yeah, Dumbo. Yeah, that shit it was shows like the animal side of it. Yeah, like, yeah. Whoa. And like original circuses were like, look at the one armed freak. Look at the, and it's just like a hairy woman or like, and a, it's like a giant dude who lift weights. Like he's like really yeah. normal. And freaks, right? Freaks. They're all living this weird trailer lifestyle. They're traveling on a train. Mm. And at the same time, every destination they get to, they set up this ginormous tent. So they're doing all this physical labor, mm. putting in these big pegs, that's lifting what, up these poles. That's what Bevington was doing. He used to Damn. assemble that shit. And let's not talk about the fucking poor animals, man, like lions and shit. Mm. Let's not talk about that. I don't want to go down that road. Elephants. Elephant. Yeah, yeah. But, um, dude, like. My problem is, like, if I was working for, like, a fucking circus or, like, carnies, for instance. Would you call it working or do people do it because of passion or, like, I'm really good at this? Yeah, oh, I don't fucking know. But, like, if you fall off, let's say you're assembling the tent and you fall off and break your back, there's not a lot of insurance yeah, for America, exa- for a for perfect example, there's not a lot of insurance with these people, so you're fucked. Oh, my God. America? They're going to drop you off and drop you off in the front of the hospital and, like, bail. Not that I know what it's like living there, but America is crazy, dude. When I when I was over there, I didn't notice this so much the last time I was there, but when I was over there just in December, you're driving down the highway and all the billboards are just ads for lawyers. And it's like, hurt in a car accident? Like, oh, on TV, it's like, hurt in a car accident, question mark. It's like, broken leg and a dislocated shoulder, $500,000 in medical bills. 500 grand US. That's a freaking home loan just to fix yourself. Like, if you lived in America and you were not well off. That's why people, off, people deliberately jump and walk in front of cars and shit, dude. People, people make a living doing that. They'll walk in front of cars, <clears throat> plead innocent. Yeah, but to sue, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're like, still going to fix your own body, so you better hope you're going to oh, get a dude, successful that's, case that's there. That's those American Americans, like, again, I'm, I'm not trying to whatever, but from what I've seen. Well, we don't like, know. We don't live there, but we're just seeing but from like, what we hear. Yeah, like, what, from what I've heard is, like, if you're willing to throw your body in front of a car and, have, and sue them, they don't give a fuck. They're happy to sit on a beach for the rest of their life with, like, a bung knee or a bung elbow or, um, uh, sorry, a bung hip. But I'm talking about, like, you just get into a car accident. Happens. You break your leg. You're in hundreds of thousands of, I don't know, is it even debt? Where do you even get the money? You're in the hospital and they're like, yeah, so to fix your leg, that's going to cost you $200,000. What the fuck? I broke my leg. I broke my leg hard. Double... Double vasectomy. Um, compound, <laughs> yeah, double compound fracture, like two breaks in the bone, floating Oof. piece of bone. Oof. I didn't pay a cent. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. booked in. I got a plate put in. I had another surgery. 
that healthcare man, we are we are lucky to we live are. here. And we're like, oh, taxes? Nah, pay yeah. those fucking taxes, bro. The rest of the world should be like this, man. It's like, it's ridiculous. We're 2023, dog. A lot, a lot of, yeah, a lot of countries are, but we're probably one of the best the bad, in, the yeah, health, yeah, in yeah. healthcare. 100%. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's crazy what... See, the thing is, as well as like... Your life could be over. You could be you, like just making it, right? You're just yeah. scraping in. You've you've saved up. Think about you've athletes, bought, dude. You've bought this house. You've, you're paying off your mortgage. You're you're you're, you're doing well. You're jerking it. You're yeah. doing well. You've got a job. You know. You're making an okay okay income. Boom, car accident, or like your wife, or like your child gets hit by falls out of a tree. I'm talking in an American accent to get into the zone. Mm-hmm. Your child is playing outside, not even a tree. He's not even doing anything naughty. He's playing on the slide on the playground. He falls, breaks his arm. One hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars. We can't come up with that kind of money, honey. Where are we going to get this money from? Yeah, yeah. The hospital's I, like, mm, uh, we can't admit your child. Um, he's going to bleed out unless you guys get a hundred grand. Imagine what that's going to make people do. Hard out. What are you going to do? Your child is like people do. Your react. child's got a. You got a. Is it called a compound fracture when the bone comes out of the skin? You tell me. You've had the brain. You've had the. You've had the. I don't wait, know. let me ask you this. Um, nice accent, by the way. Um, when, like, let's say you were drunk and you were walking down the street home, and you and like your mate pushes you, or you stumble really hard, and you smash into like a like a like a. Do you know there's like just shops on the side of a street? Mm. You smash through that. The alarms aren't going off, but you like smash through it, and like you're in, you have entrance into that. Would you wait, call the call the store, and be like, "Hey, look, I'm so sorry, I'll pay for your window," or do you just get the fuck out of there? Because here's uh, the thing: a part of me would, if it, if no one's <clears> around, I don't want to stand around for the next seven hours and have the police arrive, have these people come, talk to them, have to f- swap insurance. I'd I'm a I'm I'd like to say I'm a good person, like I go out of my way to help strangers that I don't know, but. I'd, bla- I'd fucking bail, dude. They've got insurance. They can pay for that yeah, shit. Yeah, it's But true. in America, dude, it'd be heightened. So, like, if you were driving a car and you're a bit drunk and you drive and nail someone or you smash into someone well, else's car Well, hang on, hang on. This else. is a very different situation. If you're driving a car drunk here and you nail someone, you're also pretty fucked. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. But what I'm saying is, like, what, no, like, nail someone is in, like, you hit their car as well. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I'd fucking bail, dude. Because, yeah. like, jail time... And let's mm. say you've got two kids. Just don't drink and drive. Let's say, yeah, of course. Let's say you've got two kids and you're the breadwinner of the family and your wife does fuck all. And you you hit another car and either you're injured and you can't pay for anything or you, you are injured, you pay for everything, but that's all your money gone. Your mortgage is fucked. Your family has to mm-hmm. live out of a hotel room. Your wife has to get a job. Your kids start getting bullied at school because they can't afford clothes. Hotel room? You're going to government housing, bro. You can't afford a hotel Harder. room. Yeah, you go and live in Detroit. Shit. So. Do they even have that there? Yeah. Government, yeah, they'd have so, government so, housing. So they, so I'm thinking dude, of government housing here. It's just fucked, man. <sighs> mm. i got to take a piss. Let's leave it at that, shall we? We shall leave it at that. On the On the dark side of the... That episode. Dark is good. We'll leave you there. Um, Next time. Vote, vote for the poll. Vote for the so poll. We'll have the poll there with the three options. Please mm-hmm. vote for what movie you want us to do. And we'll play roulette next time too. Next episode we'll have roulette. We'll have Phil's fun facts and we'll have the movie. Boom. Dun, 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 dun.